What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I want to go over is running in barefoot shoes. So recently I started running in the Zero Prio from Zero Shoes with an X. I wanted to make this video because I have been really enjoying running in barefoot shoes. This topic is a little bit controversial, especially because a lot of people that have switched to barefoot running shoes have experienced injuries, they made too quick of a transition, and had some problems. In this video, I want to talk about my transition to barefoot shoes, what I've noticed, and how it has helped my plantar fasciitis. Before I dive in, I do want to give the caveat, I am not a medical professional, not a doctor, not a physical therapist, or anything like that. This is my own experience that I had. I'm not saying that this is going to work for you, but I did want to share this part of my running journey. I want to just touch on one other thing. Link below is a link to my favorite supplement brand, Hollow Labs, and also a fundraiser that I'm going to be doing for MS Awareness. For those of you that haven't seen my videos before, I have MS. I was diagnosed over nine years ago. I'm going to be doing a 72-hour race in May. So I wanted to just put that link down below in case you're interested in donating or sharing with your networks or communities. When I think about running in barefoot shoes, a lot of stuff appeals to me. First off, I like that they are super flexible and very minimal. I like that they're lightweight. I like that they are zero drop. So about two and a half years ago, I started running in ultras and ultras or ultras, however you want to pronounce it. They are zero drop shoes. So I've been running in zero drop shoes for the bulk of my running experience and I love them. The reason I got into them was because I thought that if we were meant to have a heel, we would have been made with a heel or evolution would have created us to have a heel. So when I think about running, I think about running in zero drop shoes and how essentially that allows my body to be in its natural form. When I think about going into a shoe that has a heel drop, I kind of think of like a Django block where if you pull out one of the front blocks, it's going to tilt forward. So I've always shied away from running in shoes that have a heel drop or a big heel drop. And ultimately, I'm experiencing a little bit of lingering plantar fasciitis that I got from trying to make a shoe with heel drop work for me again. So when I think about running in minimalist shoes and barefoot shoes, why I got into them was because... I thought that since I had plantar fasciitis, it was probably a sign that I had weak feet. And ultimately what I wanted to do was to start strengthening my feet. So I ordered these zero shoes to work out in and to walk around in. So in my daily life, what I've been doing a lot of is wearing these shoes. When I go to the grocery store, when I go walk my dog, when I go do all of these daily tasks, I am wearing these barefoot shoes. If I'm going into the office, I wear a more dressier barefoot shoe, which is by Lems. And I'll wear those with the office because those are also barefoot shoes. So throughout the day, I'm in barefoot shoes for pretty much the whole day. And I have noticed that my feet have gotten a lot stronger. I feel like my ankles are stronger. I feel like my brain better picks up when my feet are feeling on the ground. I would consider that having better sensory experience in the bottom of my feet. They just feel like they're alive and they're awake rather than feeling like I can't feel the ground or having issues there. One other thing that I've noticed from wearing zero shoes is that my toe splay has been more in everyday life. I also have started using correct toes here and there in order to realign my foot structure. But for the most part, I think walking around in zero shoes has awakened my feet to go back to more of its normal shape and the way it should be. I grew up playing hockey and wearing dress shoes to high school. And as a result of that, I feel that my big toe is curved over and that it has caused my foot alignment to have some issues. So recently what I started doing was I started running in these zero shoes. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. I was concerned that it was going to be a lot on my Achilles, it was going to be a lot on my calves, and that my feet would be hurting and I'd be stepping on rocks. But ultimately, what I have found is that I feel extremely natural when I am running in these shoes. It's as if I'm walking around with no shoes on in my apartment. When I put these on and I go for a run, I almost have this sense of feeling primal. And I know that sounds a little bit funny, but it makes me feel like I truly am connecting with the ground below me. Every step that I take, I feel the push off. I feel the ground connection. And in a podcast that I listened to with Irene Davis, who is one of the, the leading 
researchers when it comes to barefoot running and minimalist shoes, she had said that if you wear a shoe that's highly cushioned, your impact into the ground is actually harder than if you're wearing something that was like a minimalist shoe. And from my experience, I actually feel that when I'm out there running. I feel lighter, I feel quicker, and my cadence is extremely natural. One of the things that I have noticed is that my cadence, every time I run without trying to target 180 steps per minute, I am hitting 180 steps per minute in these shoes every time I run. And I think that is super important because that is more of a natural gait. When you look at what should your cadence be per minute, obviously it's gonna be different for everybody, but it is said 180 should be a target that you should shoot for. And it has been research shown that that is one of the best numbers that a lot of elite runners have is their cadence. So without even trying, I'm running at a cadence that is more natural and suits me better. Naturally from running in a shoe that doesn't have a lot of cushion, I am landing more midfoot and forefoot and not heel striking at all. And I feel that when I am running, it's I'm like propelled forward. And it has made a massive difference in the way that I feel. It has made running feel lighter, more efficient, and a lot quicker. So I can go out, I can run at a faster pace and feel like I'm not running nearly as hard as if I was wearing a normal shoe that had more cushion and I was running at the same pace. Today I did a run in these shoes and I ran 8.11 for a little over four miles and it did not feel challenging at all. So I think wearing these shoes has definitely given me so many benefits. And what I'm actually hoping to do is begin to run these for even longer distances. I want to bring it up to 10 miles. I want to bring it up to 20 miles. And I think that this is going to really strengthen my foot, ankles, knees, and really just help out my overall body being in alignment when I'm running. One of the things that somebody said to me when I was talking to them about barefoot shoes and their experience, and this individual has thousands of miles running in barefoot shoes, had said to me, what barefoot and minimalist shoes do is they highlight the weaknesses in your body. And one of the things that I have noticed from doing runs in these shoes is that I am having certain parts of my body feel like, okay, I need to work on that. For example, my right calf on the same side of where my plantar fasciitis was is super tight. It almost feels like somebody yanked a knot into my calf. So it's something that highlighted to me that I should probably be checking out what's going on in my calves. Also, what running a barefoot shoes has highlighted for me is that I have hip pain in my right side. And that is something that I've actually been thinking a lot about but never really had any proof that I felt like my right side, my mobility on my right side and in my hips from sitting at work and from driving an hour to the office each way, I felt like that was causing my hip kind of be out of alignment. And I think, once again, my own personal opinion, running in barefoot shoes and having that issue in my right hip is showing me that I do need to get back in alignment more and that I do need to strengthen and work on hip mobility. So these shoes have definitely highlighted a lot for my body and they have taught me some spots that might be a weakness in my training, whether it's running or whether it's weightlifting. So running in these has been awesome. Like I said, these are super minimal. You can fold them in half, you can roll them up in a ball. It's five millimeters of cushion, and it's a wide toe box so your toes could splay. These are great shoes. I will say, when I moved into barefoot shoes, I was coming off of two years of running in ultra. So they're already zero drop, and I walk around my apartment barefoot all the time. So for me, I felt like it was the right next step to try to go out and run in barefoot shoes. And with that being said, I'm starting off easy with them. I'm doing, the furthest run I've done is six and a half miles in them. So I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing getting further distances in these. And I'm going to keep rotating them through my rotations. I'm also running in the Ultra Torn 6. I'm running in the Ultra Escalante 3. And then I'm running in these shoes as well for the road. So I'm having them be mixed in. And I'm looking to get my body adjusted. But running in barefoot minimalist shoes has been an absolute pleasure for me so far. I've really enjoyed it. I feel super strong running and has made a massive difference in my foot strength and my plantar fasciitis. So if you want to give these a go, if you want to try out minimalist shoes, definitely take your time. 
move into it slowly, but I do think everybody can benefit from having more time in shoes that are minimalist shoes. If you have any questions or you yourself are on a minimalist shoes, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you like them and if they are beneficial for you in the way that you run.